This is breaking news in Nigeria. Mugwaram in the northeast. Agitation is going in the southeast. Niger Delta meditating. Go to a got a new area on the Kakam Fu. When I sang Jaga Jaga, they cost my papa. Save my mama and my papa Jaga Jaga. That was 16 years ago. 16 years later, mega party arranged. They talk to the Oracle. Oracle using media introduced Boo Boo. After contesting in the game for three good times, Boo Boo became the president of change in Nigeria. All the campaign promises, no one is walking. One dollar to one naira. Any responsible government will fix electricity in six months. MC Oshomole collect 50 million dollars. If I see Oshobaba, I swear I go ask him. Gandola pocket our five million dollars. Fight against corruption is so artificial. Now he make indubo the agitate for Kiafra. Nigeria shine your heart. It's time to make politician jaga jaga. Everything scatter scatter. Come and this suffer suffer. Go sir go sir. Kiafra say they won't go. So politician yama yama. Everything scatter scatter. Come and this suffer suffer. Go sir go sir. We need for people. President Bubu get good attention, but the cabal around him is destroying Nigeria. Show me your friend, I will tell you who you are. Who we'll be the cabal who I shall to talk about? Nigerians are dying. People are. Welcome on the show once again, people. How are you? Um, without wasting any time. Well, let me just get started. Um, today. A lot of activities, a lot of updates are there to talk about. First off, um, is that there were protests, uh, rallies in Lagos and Abuja simultaneously. In Abuja, in Lagos, it was successful, no casualty, no injury. In Abuja, meanwhile, the Jihadin Oju was uh, brutally assaulted and then is still being treated as we speak right now. Uh, although the attack regardless the group was able to still submit their letter to the National Human Rights Commission in Abuja meanwhile at the same time the court sat as expected on Shores matter you know this uh, festive period and then uh, at a time like this you would expect only a vacation judge to be able to sit on a matter like this yeah as expected Whereas the vacation judge that was that the matter of Shores uh, freedom was assigned to said he would have to recuse or excuse himself from the case. I'll come back shortly to that and I will talk about all the interests that have combined against Shores and why Shores may be gone for a long time. Uh, but before then, I should also quickly review or let you guys know that um, the United States sent representative to court today to monitor because as they said they were also monitoring the case so just for everybody to know as they should okay and um, yes as everybody should know now let me come quickly before I begin to talk about uh, the interest against Shore. Um I want everybody to also understand very importantly <laughs> that uh, okay let's talk about the GID just attack in court today a lot of you already saw that uh, the GID was attacked while he was leading group to go and submit uh, letter to the National Human Rights Commission I'm looking for that video I don't know what happened is it here the video should be here yeah Let's see. Let me pay that back. Hey, Baba! 
At least if we don't know anything, we know that these people who attacked Shiwere do not even know the meaning of the placards they are, uh, they are given to carry. But the only thing they are saying is, say wa wa, say wa wa, say wa wa. You all saw it already, okay? And then, if it doesn't mean any other thing, it means one thing, and everybody understands it. But prior to this time, it's not the first time this is happening. You would recall that the day Shore was re-abducted in court. Similarly, the same set of people were already um, sent to come and attack Shore in court. Or the women who came to support Shore, or the protesters who came to support Shore. The government already sponsored thugs or other people to also come and attack the pro Shore protesters in court prior to the DSS or SSS invasion of the court to re-abduct Chore, even in the glare of the court that scared the judge. I think I should remind you with this clip. In case you do not understand what is going on there, let me play back a little bit for you guys to understand. You would see that these guys do not exactly know why they are here. They were just given placards. They don't know the inscription on the placards. They just they were just given the placards to come and make noise. Look at them. They are hiding their faces. They don't even know the song that the leaders are singing. The solidarity forever. They don't know it, the meaning. They don't know what is there. They were just given money. They were picked from the markets to come to the court and protest. Look at them covering their faces. They don't even know what this is about. They were just given to 200 naira to come and hacked now this is one of the effects of overpopulation i hope somebody understands me it's one of the effects of overpopulation one of the effects of just giving birth to children that you cannot account for now look at them on the streets they are giving them to 200 dollars to come and carry what they don't even understand what is the only thing these people know is say they don't know any other thing they don't know the reason they are out they don't know the reason they were given placards they don't know the reason or what they are up against or what is against them now this is another effect of mass illiteracy overpopulation and giving birth to children you cannot account for or you are not ready to take care of or you are not even ready to give education to and this is largely concentrated in the north now, when we tell a lot of people that a lot of work has to be done in this country, and we have also made cases in the past to say, see, in the eventual, people have to go their way so that those that want to be the way they are will be the way they are. Because democracy is about number, and these people are more than those that have sanity. And you can already tell that it's going to affect everybody else. Because these people don't even know what, what is what. They are just many without any vision, no ambition. They have no vision, they have no ambition. They are just there and they are being used to 200 naira to come and carry placards that they don't know what is in the description. They don't even want to understand what you're saying. So when Ishore is coming from abroad to come and lead the revolution and is speaking grammar, she this one to understand and there are millions out of 36 states in Nigeria. 19, 19 of these 36 belongs to the north. Out of 36 states, 19 are of the north. I don't know if this makes sense to anybody. And 19 states of the north, most of them illiterate or illiterate people. What are we saying now? 
if any of them has anything above Waek, it is affidavit. And we want to we want to explain to them, reorientate them and all that. How will it work now? How many how many decades will that take? How many centuries? And those that we started together, Malaysia, Singapore, they have left us behind. They are 50 years ahead of us, and we are still trying to carry these ones along. Anyways, I digressed. Let me come back to the combined interests against Shore. What transpired in court today is that the judge said he will not be able to hear the matter because in the past, Shore's news outfits, Sahara reporters, already reported him in a compromised state in two previous cases that he was supposed to preside over but because he was in a compromised state and Shore already reported them he had to remove him they had to remove him from the cases as a result if he goes ahead to give his ruling in a case involving Shore himself that Shore would think it is because of those two previous cases that they are sentiment what they then did was to say okay he will stand the matter down for a few minutes and within this few minutes he wants Falano to advise him whether he should he is still qualified to continue to preside over the matter. That is Justice Ahmad Muhammad Muhammad. Yeah. Justice Ahmed Har Muhammad. You know, what they then did was to railroad Falano into agreeing that he cannot continue. But why would that judge accept to come even after already being late, coming late to court? Why would he accept it? Why would he not allow another vacation judge to take the matter? The judge came on, came very late, when it to be late to reassign, after already accepting to sit on the matter, then came late. Then now explained that he doesn't think he's qualified because he also has personal sentiment against you already. He then has fallen on. Let me stand this matter down for a few minutes. Now, what do you think? Should I still continue? Already, you have already said you can't continue because you already said your judgment or your ruling will not favor Shore because you have sentiment against him. You have a you have certain bias against Shore. Alright. Now the executive has bias against Shore. They are shopping for judges who also have interest against Shore. The legislature or legislative also has sentiment against Shore. The powers that be in the political major ruling political parties in the country have cases against you. As a result, all these combined interests mean that you should not expect sanity in this matter involving Shore. So and I've said it many times before. If you are truly looking to liberate this country, it is beyond placards. It's beyond placards. They will use a placard with you, they can sponsor as many you know, many in the compoops and to come and confront people that have sanity when you are going to protest. But in addition to that, they have the state power, including those that will be masked and come with guns. What are you going to use to confront those ones? So, and I've said it before, for as long as you are doing protests with placards, talking to people who don't even understand what you are writing on the placards, you are making mistakes. You, you will just be making noise and nothing will be achieved. So that is just my opinion. I may be wrong. I'm just saying my own. But all the same, I know that a lot of people are already online and have uh, opinions and things to say. Hmm? Um, let me quickly take some of these comments. Um, I'm not in my studio today, so you can see the comments could not be on the background. Uh, somebody says, if it's beyond placard, okay. Somebody said guns is the answer. That's not what I'm saying. Um, solution says, okay. Mm, mm. Somebody say what I have is a valid opinion. Well, I'm just saying my own. I may not be sure. Um, Jayo Lao, don't you say plant case? Why didn't he reject or complain about this before today? Yeah, that's another. That's what exactly what I was trying to explain. I don't know why he, he accepted to continue the case before. And when it was very late to reassign, he then went ahead to say, Oh, he thinks he also has bias against Shoria and he might not be in the best position. But why did you accept it in the first place? Question 
maybe perhaps for the gods <laughs> I don't know um, somebody says um, a Kejuba victory sure you are very correct uh, Francis says Yoruba against Shore for those waiting for 2023 it's not about Yoruba's alone now did you see those that are protesting and those that attack the Jadin Yoju they, they are not even Yorubas they are combined interests uh, they just scared of show records of 2023 elections they know him go they know him he will win ah. let's go somebody says he wants to go and carry gun I didn't say that um, this is just a game they know what they're doing um, solutions are exactly games they are ready okay um, Chuck says so what's the way forward well it's up to you people as for me, I already made up my mind this country is not worth it. For me, so but I don't know what others think. It's not in my place. In, it's not in my place or in my in my position to make decisions or conclusions anymore. At this point, I will no longer make, like me. I have said I will no longer make recommendations, and the reason is very simple. The reason is very simple. You you all know what Nigeria has become. The state has become what it is so everybody has got to be careful i can't make any recommendation make your recommendations by yourself i'm just trying to analyze what is what the situation is um i want to tell you that the government is not ready yeah everybody knows that nigeria is finished according to yeah it was planned before they are just biting beating around the bush yeah there's no unity in nigeria that's why it's too hard for this to work out according to mental saying The comments are rushing seriously. Um, okay. If you're just joining, please uh, kindly add your comments. Watch all the way from the beginning over again so that you can understand what we're talking about. All the combined interests are taking their own toes. The moment anyone is done with Shore, like, oh, I've taken my own revenge on him. You offended me before. And all that would. And. Talking about the conspiracy of silence, most of these so-called men of God or God of men, they are complicit in what is going on in this country as we speak right now. And I'll explain. Somebody called me last week and said he's a direct. Uh, he can talk to. He can talk to uh, Apostle Suleiman to to give Shoreskis a mention in his next sermon at the church, and I'm like. Yeah, if Apostle Suleiman feels like, <laughs> what's wrong with it? Why do you need to tell me first? He was like, yeah, we just want Shore to understand. We want people that are close to him to tell him that Apostle Suleiman wants to say such thing. I'm like, something told me that Apostle Suleiman was sitting exactly immediately beside him because it's not. We have seen it before. It happens. It's just the same way they started talking to other people who are OAPs or celebrities or whatever you call them. And that's why somebody mentioned that the freeze. I'm like, yeah, that's how they go that the freeze too. They just call somebody to talk to you, and then the next thing they start talking to you. See, if your conscience tells you this thing is wrong, go ahead and talk against it. You don't need your approval to talk against what is wrong, except your conscience does not tell you it's wrong. Everybody has got to stop the cloud chasing. You don't need your to agree with you to talk about what is wrong on your pulpit. If you already are unconscious, already tells you it's wrong. You don't need your right to approve it. You don't need me to approve it before you say it. All of you that are the so-called pastors in this country, you don't need anybody to approve what your conscience tells you is wrong. Just go ahead and say it if it is wrong. Except you don't believe it is wrong. So leave it. So it is this hypocrisy that got us to where we are today. If your conscience tells you this thing is wrong, Forget about who the victim is. Yeah, she already offended me before. So, there are so many people she already offended before who are now agree with him. There are so many people that offended she already before too and she already overlooked, overlooked them. Anytime it has to do with injustice, it doesn't matter whether the victim has offended you before because by the time it is your turn, you will not need consent of your conscience to speak against the evil. 
you will not need your raise approval to speak against it as far as you are convinced it is wrong and that was exactly what i told that person if a person wants to, wants to speak against it let him go ahead and speak against it it doesn't need your raise approval it doesn't need my approval it doesn't need anybody's recommendation he's been doing he's been doing gospel work for how long so since when did it become uh normal or oh, since when did it become norm for him to ask approval from the victim before he can speak against what is unjust and what is evil is that what the bible teaches that you first consult with the person and look at how you can become friends from his plight i don't understand and the same apart from apostle Solomon, the same applies to other pastors geos bishops and the rest of them all of you are hypocrites if something is wrong you don't need the victim to be your friend before you speak against it and that's the point i'm making here the same applies to whether you are imam whether you are far whether you are babalao whether you are chief priest whether you are high priest whether you are anything as far as your conscience tells you this thing is wrong and unjust speak against it that's the point i'm making ladies and gentlemen i'm not at home i'm not even in lagos at all as i speak with you right now i'm somewhere a little far i'm just trying to make sure that i give updates based on what happened or transpired both in court and on the streets of lagos and abuja simultaneously today well thank you so much all for your attention i'm going to see you guys later uh, as i said this christmas cannot be sweet we should wear out of circulation because that man has a family he has a mother he has wife he has children and they all deserve his attention buhari cannot be enjoying uh the holiday with his own woman in zaoza room and all of you to are enjoying in zaoza room and somebody who is fighting for progress who is fighting for equity is locked up in illegal detention and we all go about pretending as if everything is normal this is the biggest hypocrisy anybody can try sure does not deserve to be in detention why criminals are walking freely on the streets criminals criminals and criminals in government this country is currently run by armed bandits they are the ones in power and it's going to haunt everybody if you think you are happy today like i was telling somebody earlier today when timaya wrote or said on instagram that hush poppy uh that he does not he was trying to diss us poppy and he said he doesn't talk to people in ex in exile well i don't know hush poppy I don't know what business Osh Poppy does. I don't know. But that kind of statement is very insensitive. If Timaya thinks he's wearing designers today and is happy and he feels that everything is alright for him, he should not forget that he has a daughter. He should not forget that, yeah, even if he has sent his wife packing or whatever, I don't know what happened or anything. He has not been posting about his wife, he's only been posting about his daughter to the last time and as of the last time i i followed these uh updates i'm not the entertainment type of person yeah even though i like it uh a little but the little i know i'm aware that timaya has a daughter or he has a child or two or more you should remember that his time will soon be up, and it will be up to these children to take decision if you leave these children in this country that there is no future and you think because you have built a very expensive mansion or a house somewhere don't forget people have built mansions before one day they will just decide that they don't like where you put stuff they just hate you and government will just come and and just demolish the house and say it is it is on the road or the children will not be able to maintain the house and they set it off so what what is the legacy you are leaving see it's not about whether you are wearing designer shoes or clothes today some people wore it before it's about what legacy you are leaving for the future your name will soon be out entertainment is fluffy there were so many uh legendary musicians in the past in nigeria people don't talk about them anymore it's just the same way in another five years people don't talk about Imaya anymore but what people will remember about you is the legacies you leave so if you are thinking because you have made it by building a man one mansion out of billions of mansions in the world it's hypocrisy it's a waste of time it is nothing 
because it cannot stand the test of fire the bible that you believe in also says so it's not me anyways i've said what i have to say i won't say too much uh let us not just be concerned about ourselves and now let's also be concerned about the future because you all have kids if you don't have now you will have you have to think about what legacy you are leaving for the children when it is time for them to start living their own lives ladies and gentlemen i think i should leave you with should i leave you with jaga jaga or should i leave you with larry safari um i think i should do larry safari as i sign out now Don't want to know